Hey everybody, welcome back to Shark Tales. Let's take a dive back into the world of sharks. So on Friday, the research team was on the water in Cape Cod Bay again. Conditions weren't great. It was pretty slow uh, compared to our first couple of trips in the bay. But what was really exciting about it was that uh, we saw a few really small sharks, so six or seven footers, on an area known as Brewster Flats. The research team didn't make a trip on the coast of the, the Outer Cape this past week. Um, the weather just wasn't great for it. But if you have the Sharktivity app, you probably saw that there were quite a few sightings reported anywhere from Nauset Beach up to Provincetown. So it's still really active. The water clarity isn't great. Really important uh, to pay attention to water clarity. So white sharks are visual predators, um, and when they can't see as well, they're more likely to bump into something or make a mistake. So this past Sunday, um, an angler fishing from Oakland Beach in Rhode Island actually caught a baby white shark, a white shark pup. The guy who caught the shark is holding it up by its tail, which isn't great for a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, from the human side of things, sharks are very flexible. If you're handling a shark, you, you don't wanna just handle it by its tail. It can turn around um, and bite you. Number two, he's holding that fish entirely out of the water. Remember, sharks are fish. They can't extract oxygen from air. So essentially, that shark is, is there um, kind of suffocating. Another thing that's not great about this photo is that even though he's putting the shark back in the water, white sharks are a prohibited species. If you are, are out fishing for something and you accidentally catch a white shark, you need to release it with minimal harm to the animal, which means releasing it as quickly as possible. So the size of maturity for white sharks varies between males and females. Male white sharks mature at about 12 feet in length. Anything um, under that is classified as a subadult or a juvenile. Females mature at around 15 feet in length, so at a bigger size than the males. So when they're, when they're less than about nine or 10 feet, their teeth are really narrow and not that serratedness of white shark teeth. They're better suited for grabbing smaller prey items like squid, fish, and smaller sharks. Once they get to be about nine or 10 feet in length, those, those teeth broaden out, they become more triangular and more serrated, um, and they're better suited for feeding on marine mammals, which they then start to incorporate into their diet. But even adult white sharks don't only feed on marine mammals. So a seal is a great meal for a sub-adult or an adult white shark, but they still eat fish, um, they still eat squid, they still eat a lot of other prey items. Thanks everybody for tuning into Shark Tales this week. Follow NBC10 Boston on Instagram and YouTube so you can stay on top of all the shark news each week.